Hello everyone, hello everyone. Listen, this is Omiko Glinton. Listen, I'm excited to come before you with some awesome, awesome news. I have awesome news for you guys today, wherever you're watching all over the world. I have some amazing, amazing uh, news for you today. And I want to start off by saying to all of you guys that the Miko Experience Foundation it's official, it's already done. Um, God have allowed me to start a foundation um, where I'll be able to uh, reach out and help the community and we'll talk about that a little more. But for those of you who don't know, my name is Omiko Glinton. I've, I'm a bone fishing guide. I've been in the bone fishing industry for now some 20 years or so. And uh, because of um, my gift for fly fishing and fly casting and bone fishing, it has allowed me to meet some interesting people, people from all around the world, movie stars, businessmen, just everyone from England to the United States to Japan. And I've been privileged um, because of that. And because of that, I've got up allowed a lot of doors to open for me. And I've, I've had some experience that um, I don't think I would have had if it was not for me being strategically placed where I'm placed. Um, and for me doing what I've been doing. And because of that, I've, I've, I've been able to enjoy uh, some of the benefits of life and a lot of things that most people might not have the chance or the privilege to enjoy. And you know, uh, God has blessed me with a, a life that is not, uh, is not better than anyone else, but I've experienced, um, had some experience that I know it's only because of the goodness of God and the connections and the people that I know. And um, I decide to call this foundation, the Miko Experience Foundation, because everything that I've experienced, all of the good stuff that have happened for me through my connections and through my friends and everything else, um, I want to be able to in turn uh, give that experience to someone else, you know, and so the Miko Experience is based around uh, me um, taking some of the things that have happened in my life, the good things, and say, you know what, I want to spread the wealth, I want to spread the joy. And because of that, I created the Miko Experience Foundation. For those of you who uh, know, I've been in uh, youth ministry now for 15 years or so, maybe 16 years. So we've just been reaching out to the community and uh, giving back to the community and uh, just helping as much people as we can help. But the Miko Experience Foundation will allow me to reach, uh, I'll go to, we can go to another dimension in our giving and our helping and our reaching out to this generation. So I want to just let you guys know that the Miko Experience Foundation, and it is a, it is a tax exempt 501c3. I must say that it is a tax exempt 501c3. So all of you lovely friends and guests and clients of my own uh, who've been waiting for something like this to be able to give in such a way to this organization. It's done, it's official. You guys can go ahead. I'm gonna give some information at the end of this video. Uh, I'm gonna give uh, the email and the phone number that you guys can contact me or you guys can go to the email. I'll have the website done in a short order. But I wanna just jump into a few things that we're gonna focus on so you guys will have a better idea on what we're focusing on. It's, it's a broad span but we, we, we are focusing on developing the next generation. That's what we are full of, uh, focusing on. And we believe that as a result of this, we're gonna shift our island here on Grand Bahama. We'll be able to shift our nation as a result of this Miko uh, Foundation. So guys, you're gonna be a part of what God is doing in Miko Foundation, all right? So one of the things that I have here that I, uh, I had this down for years, we, we're interested in a multi-purpose building, a multi-purpose building where uh, we can set up, I want to be able to set up on East Grand Bahama all the way to West Grand Bahama where we can cater to our young people um, that needs a positive environment. They need another alternative than everything that is out there. And this multi-purpose building will be consist of many other activities and many activities that our young people can take part in. Other than that, we are looking into a transportation, uh, transportation there's, the island, there's a lot of people that is in need of transportation. There's kids that need to get to school. There's mothers and grandmothers and grandfathers that need to get to the food store and back and forward. We wanna, we wanna uh, create a transportation um, a ministry where we'll be able to uh, transport uh, kids to school back and forth from school, grandmothers, wherever they want to go, grandfathers, whoever. We want to be able to do that free of charge where these people can get back and forth and get around and do what they have to do. So that's something that we're looking forward into and we want to call it Kip Trans. All right, Kip Trans. So we want to also, also what we, we want to call it is the Miko Foundation Trans, all right? But anyway, um, scholarship program. We all know uh, this is very vital and important 
when it comes to education. We are definitely uh, focused on education strongly. My wife presently is attending the University of the Bahamas. She's training to be a teacher because we want to be able to add education to everything that we do. And so we're looking forward to a scholarship program. Many young people, um, they, we, they, get, they have good grades. Um, they're doing well in school and they don't have the funding to be able to go off to school or even go to school right here on the island. And so we want to be able to, to give scholarships to those young people that worked hard, deserve to go to school, but they just don't have the funding. And one of we believe in education. We believe that education is the key. So we want to go ahead. We want to have a scholarship program that we're able to help our young people that needs to go off to school or to go to further the education. We want to expand the minister, the media ministry. I'm, what I'm doing right now, I'm standing in front of a camera and I'm, I'm reaching the world as a result of media. We believe that media is taking over the world. And so we believe that we ought to tap into media more than anything else. So we want to be able to expand the media ministry. We're talking about radio stations. We're talking about television stations, radio programs. Uh, listen, we want to we wanna bombard the media uh, industry, all right, that we can reach out to as many people as possible, all right? We, will, we talk about expanding the education ministry. We talk about that a little bit, about the, uh, about the teaching and educating our young people. Uh, one day we would, one of our long-term goals is to see our school. We want to be able to open up the Miko Foundation School. All right, the Bahamas, the Miko Foundation School. We believe that that's gonna happen. It's a great vision, it's a long-term vision, but we're gonna believe that that's gonna happen where we're able to educate our young people, we'll be able to teach them uh, morals and, and principles that, that can take our country to another place, another level, all right? One of the other things, an exciting thing that I always think about is our vacation gift certificates. Uh, we have had the privilege, me and my kids, to travel um, to a lot of places in the United States and enjoy um, traveling and just seeing new places and, and just having a good time during vacation time. And I'm, every time I'm on vacation, I'm always thinking about someone else who could have been on vacation or someone else who we should have brought or who we could have brought. And I always had a desire to see uh, young people, that young people from this island um, traveling and seeing the world, even if we take them to Disney World, so you know, just that their mind would expand a little bit. So that's one of the things that we really want to go ahead and do. Uh, every year we want to be able to do something great for a few kids, take them off the island, take them to Disney World, um, just show them a good time through vacation. Um, just true vacation. So that's one of the things we want to do. Uh, we're looking at land and property right now. It's very important that we have land and property to do a lot of these things that we are talking about. So obviously the funds that we're raising right now, a lot of it, um, should we, we're going to focus a lot of it on buying land and property that we can do a lot of the stuff that we want to do. Talking about that, um, we're talking about a housing project. Very, very vital and important. There's people that are sleeping in their cars, people that are sleeping on the street. We don't need any of that um, so I think uh, in the United States you guys call it half housing, half housing where you um, bring people off the streets, you help them, you give them six months to a year, you help them get on their feet, you, you know, and do whatever you could for them and then you release them back into society. And so we're excited about that. We want to we wanna definitely have a housing project where we can house people that need living accommodation, we can help them, we can help kids and family. So we're excited about a housing project. So that's one of the, that's on my heart to do for sure. A rehabilitation center, we need it very much. Even when the young men go to college, I mean go to prison and come out of prison, one of the issues uh, we have and most countries have is we don't have a rehabilitation center that these people can come to, get their minds renewed and get back on track because that's the reason why we have so much repeat crimes and so much uh, repeat offenders really because they know they're not rehabilitated. So we want to create a rehabilitation center that we'll be able to help people, help them mentally and um, everything. Economic education, very, very crucial and important. One of the things we want to focus on, economic education, economic education, very crucial um, that we teach our young people, our the next generation in the area of economics. That's something that uh, we want to focus on strongly and we'll add that in the area of education. Feeding and clothing program. 
feeding. We've been doing this for a long time. We've been doing feeding and clothing for a long time. We've been doing it on a small scale. And I thank God for every person that might be watching this who know that they've been reaching out to us and helping us with clothes and food. We have a group in South Carolina, Bo R3, uh, all of you guys in South Carolina. Just a lot of you that is watching uh, you already have something to do with making an impact, but I believe through this foundation we're going to make a greater impact. We've always been big on making sure that we have food and clothes for a lot of people that need. We don't have it all the time, but the times that we have it, we see how much is needed. And so we are, we are constantly, constantly um, doing this ministry. So we're looking forward to take this to a whole different level. We don't feel like no one in the Bahamas should be uh, have any need for food or clothes. We don't think no one. In our country, um, this should not be an issue. So I believe that the Miko Experience Foundation is going to help make that happen. And obviously, we want to do a, a skating ring. I always wanted a skating ring. I always wanted to see a skating ring in Freeport, uh, Grand Bahama, all the way in East Grand Bahama. We want to have skating rings set up that our kids can come out. They can have a good time. They can socialize in a nice, positive environment. Um, growing up, I remember we had a skating ring here, and I'll never forget it from when I was a kid. So those are the things. Those are something that I want to see done. I want to be able to put some skating rings and stuff back on our island because um, even though I couldn't skate. But um, educational seminars, I'm excited about it. Educational seminars, we talked about education before. We want to have educational seminars where we will be able to um, host seminars. Uh, we bring people in to help teachers in the area, um, in the area of education. Uh, like I say, economics and all that stuff. So we're excited, excited about that. And last but not least, Last but not least, this is where my passion is. This is what have me standing before you today is um, the fly fishing, fly fishing and fly casting school. It's very vital and important to me. This is what I do and I've been doing for a living, making a living for a long time. And this has uh, allowed me to meet many people all around the world. This actually have allowed me to have this title called the Miko Experience Foundation. And I believe that it's rather fitting that before I leave the scene, before I retire, before I slow down, that I turn this over to the next generation. We believe in empowering the next generation. So the fly fishing and bone fishing school is vital and important. I believe that we should have had one for a long time. But my mandate is to open the first fly fishing, bone fishing school here on Grand Bahama. And then we want to take it through out the islands of off the Bahamas and then we can take it to other nations but I'm excited I'm excited about all of these great stuff it's, it's, it's a lot more stuff that we want to do but I want to give you guys an idea on what the Miko Foundation is all about the funds that comes into the Miko um, Experience Foundation it goes towards everything that I just mentioned and um, when you hear about all of those stuff um, all of it uh, is based around building shaping and molding the next generation. That's what it's all about. We're all about making sure that we shape and mold and we help the next generation. But again, fly fishing, fly casting school is a must. We gotta have it if we wanna take this industry to another level. If you wanna be able for your kids and your grandkids to come to the Bahamas and enjoy this unique sport of bone fishing and fly fishing, it's important that we take the initiative and we begin to train and raise a next generation of guides, professional, um, tip-top guides that you guys, um, your kids and grandkids will be able to benefit from it. So again, guys, that's a pretty much in a nutshell, a lot about the Miko uh, Experience Foundation. Again, it's a, it's a tax exempt 501c3. Um, so it's, it's set up that you guys will have no issue in doing your thing and giving towards this. Um, listen, we don't have a price tag or um, sum of what we want. We know what we want, but we believe that God is going to just work a miracle. Amen. We believe He's going to work a miracle, and we believe we're going to get so much more than we even think. So, guys, whatever it is, um, nothing is too little, nothing is too great um, that you can give towards the Miko Experience Foundation. And our goal is to take everything we have, everything we get, and we put it towards everything that we say that we're gonna do. The good thing about this is we have been doing this for a long time. We just hadn't been doing it on this level, on the level that we believe that we're gonna do it on. So thank you guys so, so much. I really want you guys to, to hear 
my heart and hear the vision for the Miko Experience Foundation. Again, if you need to reach us, you can reach us at Miko, M-E-K-O Foundation um, at Gmail. That's Miko, M-E-K-O Foundation at Gmail. And our phone number, 1242-374-4200. That's 1242-374-4200. If you're interested, if you're thinking about it, and we just believe in that you guys that are seeing this is gonna, your heart is gonna connect with our heart. And we believe that we are God's hands extended in the earth. So every time we give, we believe that that's the hands of God that is being extended to us. And that's what we believe. We are the extension of God's hands in the earth. And so um, we believe that the Meeker experience is gonna shift our nation, it's gonna shift nations. So thank you so much for watching this video again. I'm so, so excited. The Miko Experience Foundation, it's official, it's on the way. And listen, you guys, I'm depending on you to help us to make this a success. God bless you.